what's up y'all welcome back to the channel um here at the slaughterhouse again but at night but with me i have a special guest my boy isaac valley flag he is a ufc vet and a bare knuckle fighter say what's up brother what's up <laughs> so we're doing a night investigation at this location and uh yeah so let's see what happens let's see what we catch hopefully we can Capture some stuff, right, Isaac? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> right on. So let's go ahead and start with the investigation and uh, check this place out. Camp Albuquerque, located in New Mexico, had more than 425,000 German POWs shipped to the United States during World War II. In 1943, they received the shipment of Mussolini men. Then one day in July of 1944, it was all gone. The Italians were transferred to undisclosed locations. The barracks came down only to reappear on an 8 acre plot down by the slaughterhouse on the south edge of town of Albuquerque. The first to arrive at the Schwarzman iteration of Camp Albuquerque were German soldiers, captured in North Africa and trucked up from Camp Roswell. Demands for both food and labor had already escalated to critical limits. So the Germans worked farms in a 40 mile span from Corrales to Los Lunas, receiving 80 cents per day for their labor. Up to 171 soldiers crowded the Schwarzman's facility and three attempted to escape, but only one made it out successfully. The ruins of a slaughterhouse lurk behind a cluster of trees. Its center block walls serve as canvases for graffiti artists. It's said to be haunted from the horrible explosion that possibly killed some of the Nazi workers. It's said that shadow people lurk the grounds and remaining buildings around the once farmland. Voices and eerie sounds can be heard during the dark and quiet nights. This place was really, really scary at night. Could you imagine the feeling these POWs, these Nazis, these soldiers that were kept here in captivity, what they had to go through at night. So are you into the paranormal? Uh, yeah, it's, it's always kind of a, a fascination, like we were talking about, a fascination for me. Uh, I think it's a, a human fascination too. Uh, like we were talking about. During this conversation, I didn't notice the shadow person walking behind Isaac. And we heard knocking and feet shuffling. And that's why we stopped, because we were wondering what that was. But upon review of the video, you can clearly see the shadow person at the far left side of the video, walking from left to right. Very, very weird. You always wonder, our our thing is we always wonder about the afterlife as humans. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that ghosts and things like that are, are a confirmation of the afterlife. Uh, so whether it's a spiritual thing or just you want to scare the shit out of yourself, it's kind of a, <laughs> I think the paranormal is a cool thing. You know? Yeah, that's true. So what's been the best uh, memory of a fight that you've had in the UFC or in any promotion? Uh, like one of your favorite fights? I would, I think beating Jay-Z Cavalcante or fighting Jay-Z, that was my first like big fight up then, up till then I fought like no name kind of guys. Uh, and Jay-Z was a legend at the time. <clears throat> and uh, uh, it kind of, it's one of those things, that fight was one of the things that gave me confidence uh, not just in the fighting realm, but in in uh, in to confidence, kind of more more of a life confidence thing, you know, like really realizing that I could achieve whatever I put my mind to because I I was just some some guy, and uh, and and I didn't think that I had a chance against this guy, and here I was beating him just because of my hard work and work, or you know, because of the work ethic and work that I put in, um, and it kind of all that stuff 
all fighting always equates to life and i think that was one of those things that really kind of made me realize i could do anything um was just the ability to not just fight at that level but beat somebody at that level that's awesome man and then fighting for bare knuckle i mean how 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 did you get into that i mean uh, so joe stevenson uh called me and was like hey do you want to fight bare knuckle there's a promotion and it, they're kind of doing this thing uh and uh and he had a hookup in it uh and it was you know something that i always want to try because that was the beginnings of mma is is i watched all the bare knuckle from brazil stuff so you know being a fighter of course like the you want to try every form of fighting right uh, and so that seemed like kind of the natural progression of things, you know, and it seemed like a real kind of pure, no gloves kind of deal. Uh, no gloves seemed like the purest form of combat. You know, there was nothing protecting you and you could break a hand and, and that plays a factor into the fight and how hard you're hitting and all that kind of stuff. So I thought, hell yeah, uh, I'll try that. And, uh, and I kind of fell in love with it the same way I did with, uh, with mixed martial arts, you know. And then, uh, then a promoter, of course, ruined it. <laughs> yeah, we, we won't mention any names. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's cool, man. That is so awesome. Yeah. You there? What do you think they used to do in there? Yeah. So after they're done slaughtering the the cows and all of that, yeah. I believe this is where they would dump the bodies. Burn them? And burn them. That's gnarly. Right? So yeah, man, the the owners of this place were the Schwartzman. And it was a thriving meatpacking uh, company. And they got into some trouble. They started to get sued. Now, I don't know if it was the city suing them or employees suing them or something, right? So because of that, they dumped so much money into it that they had to stop production and everything just went to crap. Went to shit? Yep. Everything went downhill. Um, all the family members are passed away, so nobody can claim anything here. Obviously, it's now the city's property, but it doesn't really look like they give a damn. <laughs> This is, dude. Here's that truck I was telling you about. Look at all this. Like, what do they have in there? Well, so I was thinking this was for this over here was probably for killing the cows. I can't lead them in. Oh yeah, and then shoot them. Shoot them. 
right between the eyes. Let's go over there. They probably hold this at the the railroad. Yeah. They, and this shit is old, dude. Like super old. Yeah. So if you had the opportunity to fight again, would you fight again? Uh, give them the right opponent and the right, not even money, just the right opponent. Like, Diego Sanchez was a fight that interested me when they were talking about the bare knuckle stuff coming here. Uh, somebody like that, yeah, but you know, other than that, there's, there's no interest in it for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Getting to fight a legend like Diego would be cool, but yeah. what's the point of... Or, or Dylan Dennis. I really fucking hate that guy. And I, I would love to fight him. Ugh. That's one of the guys that I can truly honestly say, like, that I, there's just something about his persona that I just fucking hate him. <laughs> I don't know him at all, but I hate him. This whole thing. Huh? Look at this whole thing right here. It says trash. That's an old bear wheelbarrow, I guess. Fuck, I guess so. <laughs> Who knows if it's fucking gonna be back in place? Right? Yep. Ooh, there's more. Yeah, dude. So this is where they have the old tools. The belts and shit. Mm-hmm. Probably for that truck that yeah. was back there. Yeah, because it starts with an engine. The all the junkies stripped all the copper out. Mm -hmm. So, like all this here, I mean, for to have that much electricity in here. <laughs> what? Blade sharpener. Blade sharpener. <laughs> wow. This is nuts. So, yeah, so like having all this electricity and all these pipings, I mean, I don't know, what, what could have been, could this been the garage where they fix the, the tractors and since all the parts are over there on the outside? Yeah, probably. This is probably because the fire extinguisher, this is probably like the, uh, like the, the garage for the tractor trailers and shit. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, little adventure here, checking out the slaughterhouse at night. It was pretty cool and a little bit freaky, <laughs> but is it haunted? Who knows? Um, it was just still a cool location, a cool uh, part of history of Albuquerque, of New Mexico. Um, thanks so much, Isaac, for- It's uh, not haunted at all, but <laughs> look around. Right? Um, 
Isaac, thank you so much, brother, for uh, joining me here and uh, for the little, you know, improv interview. <laughs> right. Thanks for having me. It was fun to go exploring some shit with you. Hell yeah, man. Hopefully we can do this again. Um, probably hit up uh, Cuervo and uh, Glen Rio. And nice prison. little two ghost, yeah, ghost towns Santa and the Santa Fe prison. I'm sure we can get some hookups to get in there, so yeah. that'd be pretty cool. Right on. All right, guys. Peace out. Thank you. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the uh, video, and we'll see you next time.